please tell me a scary story about a red tomato that has turned out to be a killer. Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and lush green forests, there was a renowned farmer named Ivan. He took great pride in his garden, which was the envy of all the villagers. Among his many crops he grew the most beautiful and plump red tomatoes. One day, as Ivan was tending to his garden, he noticed one tomato that seemed different from the others. It was a deep, vibrant red almost glowing in the sunlight. Ivan picked it up, admiring its beauty, but as he did, he felt a strange sensation coursing through his body. He shook it off, attributing it to the heat of the day. That night, as the villagers gathered around the fire, Ivan shared his tale of the peculiar tomato. They all laughed it off as a harmless coincidence. But as the days passed, strange occurrences began to unfold. Animals that had wandered into Ivan's garden mysteriously disappeared, leaving only their bones behind. The villagers grew uneasy and some even whispered that the tomato was cursed. Ivan, however, remained skeptical. He continued to grow and sell the tomatoes unaware of the danger lurking within. One fateful day, a traveler from a neighboring village arrived, bearing news of a series of mysterious deaths in his own community. The victims had all consumed the same type of tomato, the very same ones that Ivan was selling. The villagers were horrified, and they demanded that Ivan stop growing the tomatoes. But Ivan refused, insisting that there was no evidence linking the tomatoes to the deaths. The situation escalated, and soon the entire village was in an uproar. As the sun set on that fateful day, Ivan sat alone in his garden, surrounded by the beautiful red tomatoes. He pondered the strange turn of events, and suddenly he heard a voice. It was the voice of the tomato speaking to him in a hushed, menacing tone. You have defied me for too long, farmer, it said. Now it is time for you to join your animals in the afterlife. With a shudder, Ivan realized the truth. The tomato was not just a fruit, it was a sentient being, bent on revenge for being picked and consumed by humans. Ivan dropped to his knees, begging for...